I'm Chris Hutchins. I've been a member of Daffy since the beginning, 2021. Before Daffy, I had a donor advised fund at old school financial institution with crabby website. And I'd always wished that something more modern existed, but it didn't. And so I think as soon as I caught wind that Daffy was out and you could basically have a mobile app that you could use. <laughs> you could actually do things on the internet with your DAF. I was like, I have to do this and switched over right away. The top benefits of a donor advised fund are simplicity. I love being able to organize everything in one place. And probably the ability that it helps you be more generous. With Daffy, we were walking down the street in one of those festivals in the peninsula and someone was like, we're raising money. And I was like, cool, boom, boom. Look, I just gave $100 to your cause. And it was so simple. I never would have done that. Before. I think in the maybe one or two years that we had our previous staff, we've probably given two or three times as much as we normally would. But I think it's less about the quantity of dollars that we donated and more about how intentional we were. I think when you have a DAF, you think, okay, where do I want to get this money? And what that means is each year we can kind of look at what are we trying to do? What causes do we want to support? One of the best things about a donor advised fund is tax benefits. And it's not just the tax benefits of giving money to a charity. The idea that you have a pool of funds that you've dedicated for charity that you can invest and grow into a bigger pool of funds tax-free. So the great thing about generosity is it's really easy. And one of the things that I think sometimes people get caught up in is, well, I want to be more generous, but I don't know where to give money. And one of the cool things about a DAF is you can separate those decisions. You could say this year, we want to give away a hundred dollars and you could put that hundred dollars in, or you could say this year, we're going to give $10 a month or $20 a month. And then and later you could say, now we're going to decide where we want to allocate that money. And so by separating those things, I think sometimes it makes it easier to get started. And from a tax standpoint, you can take the tax advantage right when you donate the money, even if you don't know where you want to give it. I'm kind of a pretty nerdy optimizer in life. And if you don't know a lot about me, I run a podcast called All The Hacks, and it's all about finding every area of your life to optimize. And so one of the reasons I love donor advised funds is because they just feel like the ultimate way to optimize the way you give. So if you want to dive into all the other stuff I'm doing, trying to figure out how to optimize, you can check out All The Hacks wherever you listen to a podcast or allthehacks.com.